So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. It's raining here in Tennessee. I guess it might be a good time to go get some logs. Yep, let's go get some. We got the truck warming up. We got the iron bull hooked up to it. Should be a good day. I think this rain is supposed to stop in about an hour. We're headed over to Muddy Creek, Tennessee to my buddy Butch Jones' sawmill. He runs an LT40 to pick up some walnut. I saw the walnut a long time, guys. Let's go get some. Alright guys, we're back at the sawmill. We made it back safely, but I did have one problem on the way there. I noticed in the rear view mirror, the lights on the trailer were not working. And I usually check that before I leave and I check the uh, brakes on the trailer. But I was in such a hurry to get back before the rain set in, I didn't look at it. And halfway down the road, I looked behind me and the brakes wasn't working. And I think I figured out why. So everything's hooked up correctly, but I did remember this morning when I was hooking this thing up, the ball was pretty rusted and that will interrupt with the ground on the trailer if that's the case and i think that's what's going on today or at least i hope that's what the problem is so let's take this hitch off put on the wire brush and bring it back out here and see if we can fix it so for any of you guys out there that have a trailer and you can't get the lights to work you may have some rusty balls it happens to all of us take the hitch off take it into the shop and put it on the wire wheel and hopefully that's our problem. I think that's the problem. You guys can see all that rust on there. And on these newer trailers, that will cause your lights and your brake system or pretty much everything going back to your trailer not to work right. Let's go clean it up. 
It's a gloomy day in Tennessee. It's supposed to rain all weekend. All right, that right there should do it. And they make these little rubber uh, covers to go over your balls when you're not using them. I probably need to buy some of those. All right, Let's see if we fixed it with this. All right, friends, let's try the lights now. Hopefully this works. Yep, there they are. Well, I'm glad that was an easy fix. Get these chains off these logs. Need to put some anchor seal on them. All right, guys, let's take a measurement real fast. This is the largest one, it's an eight footer. The diameter on the small end shows 27 inches. Whenever you're measuring logs out there, make sure you measure on the small end. Never take a measurement on the large end because if you buy it that way, you're getting less board footage. Always measure from the small end. But you guys know that. You've been watching me for a long time. I'm not telling you nothing new here. Now this one on the back side is a lot longer than the other one. What are we looking at here? Almost 12 feet. And the small end is facing you guys, and we're looking at 18 inches on the diameter. That's a nice log right there. This is a really nice log, but this is a nice one right here, even though it's smaller. But that one right there, friends, that's a really good find. It's hard anymore, in my opinion, in Northeast Tennessee to find walnut more than 24 inches in diameter. They're kind of getting harder to find as time goes on. And the reason that is, in my opinion, is because there's people out there watching a lot of YouTube videos nowadays, and I don't blame them for that. And there's a guy with a big old beard in Tennessee that started back in 2015, sawmilling walnut logs and throwing water on them. And it seems like ever since then, everybody's wanted a piece of that. Wonder who that was. Get these binders off throw some anchor seal on them. So now that we got our trailer fixed, as soon as this rain moves through in the next few days and it dries back up, We'll head back up there to Butch's sawmill and get the other four, about six total. And the way this worked out was back in November, Butch called me because he had 12 walnut logs he had an opportunity to buy, but he didn't want all of them. So me and him split them, six a piece. And there's also a, uh, there's also a crotch log up there that he got somewhere else he's gonna give to me because he don't wanna saw it. That's walnut as well, that'd be a really nice one. But hopefully next week, it'll dry up enough, we can get back up there and uh, haul the rest of them home. There's some really nice ones, but this one's the nicest one out of all of them. And this was actually a 16 footer, and he cut it in half to make two eight footers, of course. And uh, he gave me the butt cut because he don't have a wide head sawmill. His is a standard 40, so he can't saw more than 24 inches on the width, and he took the uh, next cut up from this. Man, this is a nice log right here. And if you're interested in knowing how much I pay for these logs, go join my Patreon page. You can do it for like a dollar a month. I put all my financials over there when it comes to lumber and logs. And in addition to that, 
You get to see these videos before they go on YouTube without any ads, and you also find out what's going on behind the scenes on the channel before anybody else knows about it. Such as the mini excavator. Those guys knew about that a couple of months ago before it even got here. So I forgot to ask Butch if he put any anchor seal on these logs. So we're gonna put some anchor seal on them. Cause if he did, a second coat ain't gonna hurt nothing. If he didn't put any on here, there's a small problem, especially with walnut, cause you don't want it to check on you. That will hurt the value of your lumber. And for you guys out there that are using anchor seal, I started using a masonry brush. I got this on Amazon. I also get my anchor seal on Amazon as I buy it by the gallon. And it's cheaper that way in my opinion because I do that prime member stuff where you get free shipping. Or they make you think you get free shipping. I'm sure I pay for it somewhere. But anyways, I'm using these masonry brushes and I find it does better with anchor seal than a regular cheap paintbrush. So try it out, it may help you. I'm throwing this stuff everywhere because I'm not left-handed. So I'm having to do this at a different angle. But more is better when it comes to this stuff right here. More is better. And if it sloshes out somewhere, when it dries, it's clear and you'll never know it's there. It's good insurance, guys. It's cheap insurance because it will keep these logs from checking really bad. They may still crack on you just a little, but it would be a lot worse if you didn't have this on there. And uh, also, I do not do this to pine, only hardwoods. I don't do it to cedar, uh, cedar, my goodness. I don't do it to cedar either. Just my hardwoods. One down, three to go. All right, guys, the rain's coming down pretty good now, but I still need to get this walnut off the trailer. So I got Mr. Cotto warming up. I got the Ironcraft grapple on him ready to go. And judging by the uh, calculator that I use online, it's over at woodweb.com. It's a log weight calculator. It says this log should weigh around 1,400 pounds. So that should be no problem for Mr. Cotto to lift it off. Let's get this unloaded. I'm tired of being out in the rain. No problem for Mr. Cotto, I'll tell you what. That was a good sized log. He don't care, he can pick up just about anything. Why am I standing in the rain? Let's get this took up to the sawmill. All right, friends, we got that up to the sawmill safely. That's the main thing. 
And I thought about starting on that log today, but the rain has started. It's supposed to rain all night and for the next two days. And I don't like running that sawmill when it's raining. And I know I'm inside, but the rain blows in on the back of that building and it gets all over me on the controls. So that's why we don't saw in the rain here on my channel. Maybe by the end of the year, we'll have a bigger sawmill building though, and we can saw no matter what the weather. That's a goal for this year at least. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you back here in three days and we're gonna open up that walnut log and I doubt it will disappoint. It's gonna be a really nice one. I'll see you soon.